hey y'all what's up what's up what's up i'm shay welcome back to my channel divine and gifted so we're gonna do a quick little reading okay i will continue the zodiac signs y'all y'all know i'll be working so just work with me here as i get through as i work through them but we're gonna do a quick little daily next 24 to 48 hours because i haven't done one so any whoosies i hope you guys are doing fantastic sending my peace sending my love sending my sending the buttons you guys this way okay so what spirit, spirit messages do you spirit what messages do you have for the collective working in the highest gift for the highest favor asking for a message full of unconditional love life healing clarity truth and understanding also asking for high vibrational messages please and thank you that is in full and complete alignment with their soul's growth and their highest good you guys this is going to be quick short sweet quick and simple because i gotta go back to work okay um i actually think because i was really guided to this deck before we started so let's see can i get an overall energy message for the collective working in our highest gift for our highest favor protect our energy our aura space and our frequency as we enter into the sacred divine space Okay, so general reading and may or may not resonate with you, so take it how it resonates, please and thank you. If you're new here, welcome. Hit that subscribe notification bell so you can know when I upload facts. So we have um assurance. So this is number 14. Okay, so we have assurance. If this doesn't scream, it's time to get grounded, really connect with the Mother Earth. Um, hold on, let me look at this. There is three, four, four women in this tree, and I'm assuming that these are representing the seasons. Actually, looking at the card, I've never looked at this card like this before. One bears fruit. One bears transformation. One bears groundedness, and the other one is like winter cold isolation um needing to take shelter but assurance is here it says remain steady can you guys see that remain steady and be assured you are doing exactly what you are supposed to do you might be seeing small signs that things situations and desires are just beginning to fall in place your focus and skills are intact you will feel motivated in work areas and therefore make good inroads on your usual work New ways of dealing with things will occur to you. Fresh perspectives will appear. And as a result, your life will move towards harmony and balance. Trust yourself. You have everything you need. Now, if you guys are looking for some type of recognition, I feel like spirit is telling you this is it. You've already gone through every season, every emotion, every thought process that you could possibly go through. Now is slow and steady rinse and wait, race and be patient. Remain steady and be assured you are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Even if it's not making sense, even if you can't see everything that you, how you want it. Spirit is basically saying, know that you're doing exactly what you need to do. You might be seeing small signs. Um that things situations and desires are beginning to fall in place your focus and skill are intact you will feel motivated in work areas therefore make good inroads on usual work okay so your life is going to slowly but surely start start being what you envisioned just don't forget to keep the vision like you get what i'm saying just keep doing the work. Keep on the same path. Don't give up. Don't lose focus. Let's see what the, the main thing that the collective needs to surrender to within the next 24 to 48 hours. Surrender to for the collective energy. Surrender your idea that you can fix someone. And then give me one more. Surrender your idea that you can fix someone. surrender to receiving love and support so this is telling me that you've been looking for recognition from someone or you've been looking for someone to give in to you or you've been trying to see the best in someone or whatever it is you've been looking for something from this person that you haven't received 
and you've been blocking off and closing out certain um, gifts um, or certain things from the universe. You haven't been necessarily opened up to it because you've been trying to fix someone or something outside of yourself. And now with the surrender to love and support to something that you need to surrender to, it's just like basically it's time for you to allow something new into your life. It's time for you to be open to something new into your life is what this is saying. Because you've been trying to hold on, to attach to, or to bring along with you. And Spirit is saying, if you want, because what you're doing, okay, you're on this path. And on this path, you get so far someone that you know love person place or thing something that you know person place or thing comes on your path and they try to distract you however that's working out for you or something happens to where it's a distraction and you try to to fix and change or try to convince this situation or you try to convince yourself or you try to alter or shape just so this person can continue down the road with you. Or this is something that you have been doing. And now Spirit is saying, now that you are on this road, rest assured that you're doing nothing wrong. As time goes on, I will always reveal to you the things that are out of alignment with you. The things that you need to break free from. And this is why clear out the old is here. And renewal of peace is here. Period. It's right here. I don't even, I ain't touch that deck. Okay. But it's like, I'm always going to show and reveal to you the things that no longer, that you no longer need. Okay. So let's pull some additional messages here for the next 24 to 48 hours for the collective. But I just feel like some of you guys, you guys are second guessing or doubting yourself. Like, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? I feel like this is a collective energy because it's the energy check-in point to make sure that you're doing what you want how you want it. especially when you have saturn retrograde you have uranus retrograde you just had the virgo new moon like you get what i'm saying you got um mercury retrograde coming up so pluto retrograde you got all these different retrogrades happening at this time and all these things are to get you to make sure that you're doing exactly what you want to do for you so if you guys are questioning, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Absolutely, you are. You are. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. I can tell you just over the past 24 to 48 hours, this resonates with me, okay? Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I have to be honest with y'all. I have to be. I have to be honest with y'all. I've been going through it too. I'm just, I'm a part of the collective too. You get what I'm saying? Um, and it's just not I'm going through anything in general. It's just I'm ready for my life to shift to a different to a different stage you get what i'm saying and sometimes i get to this stage to where i start questioning like am i doing the right thing am i supposed to be doing this am i in alignment and i start questioning second guessing because i like to know the outcome before the outcome gets here you get what i'm saying so if that are you if that is you just know that you're exactly where you need to be spirit wants you to question to make sure it's an energy check-in it's an energy check-in to make sure you're where you need to be or you're doing what you want to do or you're in alignment with where you're trying to go okay now some additional messages here is closure so i don't know if you guys are seeking closure or wanting some type of closure closure is your ego okay closure is your ego you don't need anyone to explain to you why they broke your heart destin yes you don't need anyone to explain to you why they broke your heart. Just know that if something happened, the closure is the acceptance, the acknowledgement phase. That's the closure that you need. You don't need that to be coming from anyone else outside of you. Accept what happened to you. Acknowledge what happened to you. Acknowledge how it made you feel. Acknowledge how it's going to have you, um, how it's going to have an impact on you and how you're going to move forward, both negative and positive. Um, but whatever happened is definitely because you have closure and you have destined here. Give me two more for the collective. We got push and pull energy and then one more. Okay, or two more. Oh, so some of you guys are seeking closure because you're like, they just turned their back on me. You know, 
because the ghosted card is here. And secretly, for some of you guys in the collective, someone ghosted you and you're secretly hoping that this person will come back towards you. And I'm going I'm to I'm tell you, okay, if you're tuning into this video, listen to me and listen to me very, very clearly. If someone walked away from you and they didn't have nothing to say to you, they just walked away from you, you deserve better. If somebody just literally ghosted you, you deserve better than that. Don't be wishing for this person to come back because exactly what are you wishing for? To be ghosted again? For your feelings to be invalidated? What are you, oh, exactly what are you wishing for? For you to keep giving to a situation that wasn't given to you? This closure card here, you're looking for closure because they just upped and left and didn't say anything, but maybe it was for the best. Separation, yes. At the bottom, what's the overall energy here? Secret admirer. And this person, they have been watching you. They've been going back and forth, in and out, up and down, trying to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. But if they're going to come back to you and try to give you some lame-ass excuse, there is no reason why a person should ghost you. There is no reason why a person should completely cut you off without saying anything, without... It, there is no reason why it should happen. But since it happened, that should let you know where you stand in their life, and that should let you know how they truly viewed you as a person. And that should give you a different perspective on how to handle and how to move and how to operate with certain people. Okay, listen, but you do have the secret admirer card in winter. So like, yeah, this person, maybe you could be trying to stalk them, watching them, pulling up on them, so on and so forth. But I also feel like this person could be um, a winter baby. So they could be like a, a Capricorn. Aquarius, Pisces kind of energy. Um, but if not, this is just letting me know that this person, they went ghost on you and they still watch you or you're watching them or they still try to send you like little messages or because they feel bad or guilty. Whatever they had going on, that's their business. You just know that you deserve better than that, period. That's all I have to say. Look, healthy boundaries is here. So when this person comes back around and say, oh, and I had this going on and blah, blah, blah. Unless this person was in the hospital in a coma or something. You know what I'm saying? There's no excuse. There is no excuse for you to invalidate my feelings like that. No, None whatsoever. None whatsoever. And you got to be able to set healthy boundaries and, and let them know that what they did to you was not okay. And smack the door right in their face. Right in their face. Big, okay. Okay, establishing healthy boundaries is very important for the collective at this time. Okay, because what is this? And, and here you are, you are all working on yourself, you are healed. Yeah, you do have days where you're in and out, but overall, your overall energy is you're, you're, you're taking the steps necessary to get you back to you. Spirit, what does the collective need to know about them for the next 24 to 48 hours for what's coming towards them? What do they need to know? So we have the six of cups now you guys could have somebody pop up from the past or you could be feeling really nostalgic really in your mind thinking so on and so forth four cups in reverse queen of pentacles queen of swords and the magician why is this four of cups here i just feel like someone is going to want to come back yep Yep. Somebody's going to come back and right their wrongs. They're going to try to come back and right their wrongs after they ghosted you, after they turned their back on you, after they hurt you. And maybe maybe they felt like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Maybe they, maybe that's how they genuinely felt, but how they handled the situation, they they fumbled. They fumbled you. They fumbled your heart. They fumbled the situation that y'all was building. They fumbled it. So before even opening back up to this, Everybody is it's everybody's situation is different. You're gonna want you're going to know if someone deserves your time and your energy. But this person is coming back 
They went. They definitely went cold turkey. King and Queen of Swords, both of you guys weren't speaking to each other. You didn't have nothing to say to him. He didn't have nothing to say to you. Because Queen of, King and Queen of Swords is here. The Queen of Pentacles is here. And it's like, you bossed up. When this person turned their back on you, now someone is starting to actually open their eyes up and see all the opportunities and stuff like that they, they could have had, would have had, so on and so forth with the Four of Cups in reverse. But the Queen of Pentacles is here because this is like, now it's time for you to start investing your time, your energy into other things and they can feel your energy pulling away. And when they feel your energy pulling away, quite naturally, they get in their head and now they want to come and take some type of action because now they can see clear. They can see clear because of this separation that y'all had. I definitely feel like this Six of Swords energy could be the other person. This other person could have been attached to or tied to a situation that they had to move away from. Or maybe you could have been attached or tied to a situation. The Six of Swords to the Three of Cups there. I mean, to the Three of Pentacles, to the Seven of Cups. And they needed to clear out everything that was causing dysfunction in between you guys. And this is why this person became emotionally withdrawn. And it's like, how, like I said, how they went about something, how they went about it was very cold and it was to me unacceptable like how they went about it they hurt you in a way or they let you down in a way and maybe that's how they felt they felt like they let you down so much to where they couldn't face you um but when i see this king of cups here with this ten of swords this person did not want to emotionally withdraw from you but being around you mm, this is deep being around you, they didn't have enough courage. They didn't have enough strength to be around you. Like they could not, they couldn't face you because I guess the love, the the love that they have for you or the emotions that they have for you is just so strong is what I was seeing here. Now, I do want to go into this emperor. Let's see if we can, let's see what we get with this deck. I do want to go into this emperor. Why is the emperor here? A mystery so this person had what they could have got a reading on you mystery intuition they could have been looking into you text message they could be trying they they are someone is about to reach out and say something okay now what you do when this person reaches out i'll ask spirit what's your best advice when this person reaches out again it's going to resonate differently for everybody but just know that you deserve better than somebody just outright stop talking to you and now that you're trying to move on, now they want to come back. So just keep that in mind. What's on this emperor's mind? Stay with me. I can't trust you. I'm afraid to commit. I'm afraid of commitment. One more. So this person has commitment issues, but they want you to stay while they get their shit together. Hold on, give me one more. I just want one more. I don't, I feel like this person, okay. So what's on this person's mind is stay with me. They never wanted you to leave, but they knew that staying wasn't the best option. It says, I can't trust you. They can't trust you because it's just something about you that's not coming up the same anymore. Like you're, they don't know if you're going to come up and be the same person like you was in the past. And now this is why they're afraid to even come to you because they know they ghosted you. They know they hurt you. They know they did some things, said some things, so on and so forth. Take how it resonates. But this person definitely on the back of their mind is wanting to make plans. But this is just what's on their mind. Okay. Because it says I can't talk to you right now. Because they still have to. I can. I can be. I can be myself around you. It's like when it says I can't talk to you right now. I just feel like this is something that they're thinking about. They're thinking about like, man, I really want to be with this person. I really love this person. I really like this person. I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have did that. They're thinking about all the things or how this, how things could have played out differently. You get me? And now it says, I can't trust you. And I feel like that's also them. They feel like you can't trust them. Like, I can't trust you with my heart. I can't. That's how they feel. Like, they can't, They that you can't trust them to be able to move forward. And both of you guys are a mirror to each other, not knowing how to commit, fully commit. This person is definitely having some commitment issues because they're coming up as the emperor. They like things done how they like things done. They want to control. They want to do whatever they want to do, how they want to do it. And when it does not go like that, then it, then it's very difficult for them and it's it it, it, it kind of doesn't make sense to them like well why it's, why can't it be my way why can't it be this way why can't it be that way because they're coming up as the emperor um very stuck in their ways in my personal opinion but let's make 
let's make plans this person does want to make plans with you now let's see what action is this person look the tower Whew. what what action is this person going to be taking in the future the leverage in reverse page of swords in reverse ten of cups in reverse two of cups in reverse it doesn't look like this person is going to be making any action in the future so i don't even know who this reading is for i don't even know why this came out okay bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles but they're they miss you they miss you someone's wanting you to know that they that they can't stop thinking about you at this time but the nine of cups is here with the sun the knight of cups in reverse with the sun the hair font they got they got some they got some harsh truths to face whoever you're dealing with has some harsh truths to face okay and i'm just gonna leave that there they're not ready to open up about how they feel they don't want to talk they're working through their own emotional blockages the two of cups they are very imbalanced and they're really trying to focus on themselves so right now if you do have anyone coming back towards you they're not even in the energy, in the energy to give to you, especially because the magician here is in the reverse. I didn't even get into that. Um, and this is, I feel like this is your energy coming off very cold and detached and not really wanting to move things forward because you're focusing on yourself, setting healthy boundaries. Okay. So let's see. If this person comes back, when this person comes back, in the next 24 to 48 hours what's the best advice for the collective hold on let me shuffle these up hold on y'all let me shuffle these up best advice for the collective eight of cups a desire to move on the search for something more meaningful spiritual and emotional growth so spirit wants you to see your growth in this situation and see how this situation have affected you, like I said in the beginning, and understand that you are exactly where you need to be. When this person comes back, don't let them throw a monkey wrench in your shit and you've been really taking your time to set healthy boundaries. Don't do that. Make sure that you're grounded and stabilized. For some of you, for some of you, the best advice here is when this person comes walking back to you, you need to really think about whether or not you want to invest time in this situation with the seven of pentacles there and the nine of fire. You need to really think about whether or not you want to invest time in there, whether or not you're going to be able to forgive, heal, and move on the both of you. Okay. Um, can I get an overall messages? Overall message for the collective, please. Addictions. This situation, look at that. The lock is broken. Or it's open. It says this situation is influenced by an addictive behavior that is influencing you or the person involved. Pain and trauma are being projected. Try to see the truth of the situation by stepping outside of the chaos to create an opening for forgiveness, pa passion, patience, and compassion. Again, for some of you guys, you guys are needing to learn how to set healthy boundaries and say no because you know this person is very toxic for you and they're pulling on your insecurities and that's how they keep you stuck and trapped in the cycle. For others of you guys, when this person comes back, you need to learn how to have a forgiving heart. Okay? To see if you can actually open up to see if this is where you want to invest your time. But either way, whatever happens, it needs to be communicated because this closure card is about wrapping up a cycle. And you've been asking for closure and here it is. Okay. So anywho, old wounds at the bottom. We attract what we need to heal. Often we find ourselves attracting the same type of people or situations that are not best for us until we choose to find the common denominator of what we need to heal and release. The cycle will continue. Go within to heal the pain layer by layer to find joy again. Go within to heal pain layer by layer to find the joy within. Again, this is an old wound. This is a new, this is an old something from the past coming. You're just needing to have the strength 
to be able to make the best decision for you in this situation. I'm going to leave you guys there. Bye, loves. Continue to have a great day. Be great.